Hello, welcome back to the Gaming Guild. Trader Joe's is now open. Alex here with uh, some more Seven Days to Die. Uh, day two of our new world. Uh, we're still in week eight, so it's uh, day 51, I believe. Come speak with me, friend. Gratitude, friend. Let's see. Hmm. I think I'll just take the Craft and Skill Magazine bundle. Um, couple jobs that aren't too far away. A little predicament. Could you help, traveler? Just a fetch. So, uh, a hidden stash somewhere in Ugfoot Village. Well, the pleasure was or clear zombies at the smokehouse. Well, um, which is 700 day. west. Southwest. Well, I kind of prefer just straight up killing zombies and uh, that way we get the indicator that they're there let's go ahead and take that see if I can do it fast enough to get there and back yeah I can make first aid bandages let's grab that aloe and Move these. Go ahead and make that. Then let's grab a daring adventure, because uh, that will just give us a little bit better uh, loot from the trader. I heard a snake. Uh, so I'm just going to leave all my supplies there. As long as I don't leave it for too many days, it should be fine. So I do know a little bit about this uh, map. Um, it's had some changes in uh, Alpha 21, uh, but I played it quite a bit in Alpha 20. Um, Kylie and I spent a lot of time here. So I do know the rough layout of the roads and some of the points of interest. I'm not sure what uh, like the smokehouse is or, or the uh, Hogfoot village uh, but I do know this road here takes me all almost all the way to uh, the lake over here and that 700 meters west of the trader kind of told me immediately it's like okay it's near that uh, that lake uh, so I at least had the advantage of Having a road take me all the way there. Um, wiring. Did leave my honey behind, so let's check this stump. Oh.
Well, luckily it was just one of those guys that was a feral. Um, that could have been a lot scarier. You know, if it had been a uh, one of the hooded guys, um, no, they, they're. It doesn't seem like they have a lot of health. It just seems that they're very durable, almost like they get some uh, damage reduction or something. I haven't played around too much with armor piercing rounds or anything to really be able to know what does and doesn't have, you know, armor piercing. Um, let's go ahead and throw that armor on. ourselves some shoes. There's a ranger station over there. It's where the trader used to be. Um, the ranger station and the trader kind of swapped places with the uh, most recent alpha update. The ranger station's pretty cool. A little too big to be a good uh, base for me. Oh, this place. Really? One of you guys this early on? bad news for me. Like, luckily I do have the club. If it got in my face, I could try to get him. Interesting. 
Ooh, a pipe machine gun. Okay. Wear these boots. Could wear them. Put this up here. I don't have any 7.62 on me. There's a little bit. Grab that. Eat that. Let's throw... You on there. That's my emergency. have a stockpile of arrows. I need some more stone. Um, but I want to get back to the trader before nightfall. Try taking the next job. You know, we're already in day two. And I just finished my second job. So... Just with the rate that things are going, it'll be pretty hard to uh, get a bicycle for the first blood moon. It's still my goal, but uh, the necessity to stop and try to build a base is stronger than getting the uh, bicycle. I can utilize. Not really. of the things I want to sell into my inventory. It's funny, just the difference between the two and the five can actually make a pretty big difference as far as uh, how much more speed I have in movement. chicken but moves so fast.
you're a sad. Thank you, Survivor. My right. Ooh, her time's too scoped. I'll go ahead and take that. Um, and then let's take that I fetch job. Thank you. I bet you um, do this for just so anyone in the waste these things. Would you? Anything major here? Um, and save up one more mission and I can get a water filter. Survivor. Check back soon. Get new let's take this is the only thing that can put my scope on right now so let's just put it on here it'll just help a little bit with the damage and make my accuracy a little bit better I only have 12 shots at the moment and I'd really want to make all 12 shots count so let's double check before I run over there I think I might have some more yeah just a bit. I think the magazine is 15. I got very confused for a second what all that orangish red was. It's a little like uh, burnt pieces of wood. Luckily, these burnt zombies die pretty quickly. I think they actually have less health than a normal zombie. Uh, they are a lot harder to spot until they're moving. Like if they're lying down in wait, uh, it, it's almost impossible unless you know what you're looking for. The only time it's really easy to see them is if they're like in the middle of a road because then they don't blend in, they don't have that camouflage. Almost nighttime. I'm going to start being crouched. The storm is really cutting down my visibility, too. This has some good defenses.
mainly just want to look and get any wanderers before I uh, commit. I think I've done a mission to a Hogfoot village before. That's unfortunate. Get some of this plastic. I'm curious with the shorter uh, days that I selected, um, how fast the uh, dew collectors will gather water. I'm definitely going to be counting my stamina. And if it gets to the point where I don't think I have another hit ready, I'm just going to switch to my uh, machine gun and try to get a kill. I know it's loud, but I don't have too many other options uh, once my stamina goes down. Charred meat. I don't want to avoid it just because of how thirsty I already am. annoying. I 
Let's see. Of course I'm infected. Luckily I have some honey. Uh, back at the trader. still around. But somebody there. Let's head on back. <laughs> my uh, pipe machine gun's already saving my life. That's good. Well, that's going to do it for today. Uh, hope you guys had fun. Hope you're enjoying the new uh, scenery. I will see you all in the next adventure. Bye-bye.